Achieving a perfect score on the ACT is a rare achievement. One well, Little Rock High School has had five students score 36 in the ACT because Good News Matters' Mallory Brooks brings us their perfect story. Only 0.5% of students achieve a perfect score on the ACT. So the fact that five students got that perfect score at Central High School is unprecedented. This was like huge news to me. We caught up with four of the five, Kate, Denise, Samuel, and Joseph, students who now have a bond of a perfect achievement. I feel like I'm part of a very um, competitive and academic community, and it's, it's just very... I find joy in being part of such community. Several of them receive the news amidst the quarantine. They say usually the scores are received through email or seen online, but this time they came in letters in the mail and their reactions all the same. We were all super shocked. I was very shocked actually. Their hard work and studying paid off and they all thank Central High for the academic success. It just proves that our school is really academically competitive and that we're getting the best education in the area. The classes I've taken have obviously helped me a lot um, to get to the point where I am, but I think more than anything is just the, uh, the culture of academic success. No doubt these students all have big futures ahead. That I want to pursue a chemistry major. I do know that I'm going to uh, be majoring in education and pursuing some sort of career in that field. Biochemistry and go to pre -med, uh, in pre-med and then medical school. I want to major in either physics or electrical engineering and then pursue a career in astrophysics research. And their advice for students before they take the ACT? Obviously practice, 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 practice tests. Practice tests over and over again. Correcting your mistakes are the best way to do it. Good advice from those who showed that in this case, practice truly makes perfect. In Little Rock, I'm Mallory Brooks.